Hey guys, welcome back to Ohio. I've redone my Midwest Horizon a little bit. <clears throat> and, uh, because I downloaded some new barns and I really wanted to incorporate it in it. So, anyhow, we'll show you a little bit of the town here. Here's the church we'll be attending. There's the Dairy Queen. There's a strip mall. This is a ticket booth. I don't know what it's sitting here for, but it's there. And then the old gas station, old fix-it station. Have some old cars there. But I'm here in town and did a change of address at the post office so I can start getting my mail. Um, I've inherited my relative's farm in Ohio uh, they were a cattle farm so why I'm this far let's go look at the dealership that we're gonna be working with oh there's like a supermarket right there hold on a supermarket grocery store right there and that's the dairy plant of course you hear people on the inside they're just they've got to work on the parking lot still but you could probably park there in the gas station or whatever and walk to it but right up here this is the co-op we would be dealing with that has the building here for fertilizer seeds um, and then there's where I can buy brewers grain beet pulp and any other feed there plus you've got this where I can have feed mixed and then there's the liquid fertilizer section. So, I think this is going to be a spot we're definitely going to be, whoa. Uh, definitely, definitely be uh, doing some business. Maybe not always selling stuff there, but we're going to be doing, doing some things with them. And then over here on the other school, the dealership. Yes, the dealership. It's a Kubota Case IH. The Kubota part has new and used. Case IH has some new and used. As you can see, they they sit on a lot, and they they said we can order whatever we want and all that. I stopped in here earlier today and. Got to uh, got to know them, so they said once I figure out what I need on the farm that my grandpa didn't have, then uh, they'll work. And then you got another restaurant right there, and you have a taco place. So. You know, it'd be a nice little town to go do some business, so. Luckily, all the crops in the ground are crops that I would harvest in October, September. September for chopping anything, October for running a combine. So, uh, right now, hay would be the only thing we would be working on. Um, if you remember the one I just posted, there was a second farm I owned. There still is, but it's right down the road. Um, <coughs> this is my wife's 450 Platinum. I have a flatbed that I would use also, um, a 450. But we don't, this, this series, I did not keep this farm. So... If I do have a spot right down here that I plan 
plan on getting some sort of animals in, but I am going to pull off here for a minute. I'll be right back with you. Got to use the restroom. I'm back. I decided to use that cornfield because I had to go. But anyhow, I own this little pasture here. I'm trying to figure out what kind of animals I'm going to put in there. But we'll figure that out. So, this field right there. And then this bare field. I own those. Um, I don't own this farm up here like I had um, before. So I don't own this one. But I, I have another one like that I took over because one, it's closer. Two, it made sense. Let's put it that way. Um, I own that bean field right there. There's a car. I should pay attention. I own... That cornfield, that field, that's a small hay field that I have. There's another hay field and there's a bean field in behind it. And then this is, in a sense, the second farm I have. So, let me stop right there. I'm thinking about putting a little bit of a lift on that. But anyhow, this is a little feedlot we're going to have in here with some cows in it. Probably a little, little get some beef calves or whatnot. We'll store some things in here that will feed them. May, may try to figure out my own loader here for over here. Um, because back here will be another... Another pasture will have stuff, and the feeder I stuck down in the dry creek. Just, it'd be easier, and, you know, we'll have to drive through the pasture to get back here to our bean field. But here's another little hay field we'll do. Like I said, most of the crops we have, I guess I can keep those gates open. Most of the crops in the ground are ran during the fall. Um, this barn has some storage of stuff in it. Right now, my feed truck, liquid truck, sprayer, and fertilizer spreader is in here. Um, I'm thinking I should be able to get to most of it with, that, with moving one thing out. But yeah... I, I'm thinking about getting a hay elevator to maybe put some hay up there and then buying a ladder to where I can get up there. Um, running a ladder right there, honestly. Um, but that's later down the, down the road. But yeah, this is, this one is really going to be the, the beef barn. A farm for just beef cows there in the back. Um, now, my house has changed a lot, but some of the things haven't changed. I'm also going to have the dairy farm. The pasture here behind the barn will be my heifers. And this is what my grandpa started. That one over there, he started to do stuff too, and never got that far. Um, we're going to do a bag system for all the chop stuff. This barn's the dairy. 
I haven't quite figured out what I'm going to store in there. Besides, I don't know. I may put some calf pins in there and make that, make that for calves and storage of stuff. And then we'll have this building here that would also have animals in. Um, probably dairy heifers and dairy bulls. <laughs> I don't know. It, it could be just dairy heifers in multiple different ages. Um, and then again, that farm down there could be another dairy. You know. I have the anhydrous tank. Um, hopefully... Hopefully we can find it. The co-op that I'm going to deal with hasn't got a tank in yet, but they might. He was ready to mow hay down when he died of a heart attack. So that might be something we'll get to. And, of course, this storage will be for other stuff. Feed-wise, and then this is for the overflow storage of liquid fertilizer. He was going to have a heck of a chicken operation, which I'm thinking chicken and duck right now. Um, I mean, this is one heck of a, you know, a chicken, a chicken building he did, and I think ducks would work also, and they'll be out there. And then this is a storage for extra equipment. I've got a David Brown I've bought my mower that I've I've got and our feed mixtures in here. I haven't figured out what I'm gonna stick up there yet. Um, this is the shop. I've got a side by side in there I need to work on, got it used. Probably store some pallets of seed or something in there. And then most of the equipment I'm gonna have right now I'm running is New Holland Ford got a John Deere planter here's my Kinsey corn planter you know the baler so you know why buy new equipment when all this was left to me anyhow uh, it, it's I, I've got to go probably get me a stock trailer eventually. Looks like a grain auger, a hay elevator, that go from there and all that. But this was the house Grandpa had built. This is the truck that I had. My wife just took it over as the family, the family vehicle, I guess. I got to go in a little further. Um, and it's a truck that I'll drive to, of course. But this is the one I'll be driving the most. This one is um, going to be the work truck. Because it has the fuel tank and gooseneck and all that and flatbed. So, uh... Yeah, you know, everyone else is getting ready to show up at the house, but it's a good sized house. And uh yeah. I think this this is going to going to work cuz I can sit out here on a nice gloomy day and watch the world go by and meet the neighbors eventually and you know all that. But uh once the wife and kids get here, we're going to work on the backyard getting some things, and I hung out some clothes already. Um, do some yard work landscaping back here. I don't know. May build a pool. May build a pool, but I can come out the back door in the mornings, and this is how it get there. You know, so... He, he definitely had everything going for him. I'm just going to finish the dream he had. So, uh, anyhow, guys, if you want to see this series of the Ohio Dairy Farm, 
um, which I think has definitely upgraded from the one that I had before. And, uh, go from there because I've added a lot more things to it. Um, that I can sell things. I may add a greenhouse right here. for a little bit of extra things to sell. And that might be what this will turn into eventually is the store the pallets from like this, the chickens. Thought about getting some beehives. Um because I would stick them probably right here. Right in there. Because it's an area I won't be at a whole lot. So, for those couple things, I don't know. They might be there next episode. But anyhow, guys, have a great weekend. This one is definitely, in my mind, a lot better than the one I fit, made before on this Midwest Horizon for Ohio Farm. Um, I may put a some calf hutches inside that barn too for calves and feed for calves in there that way you know it's I don't know and I have a dog dog's name's Jody she is somewhere let's see where she runs from well wow. hard telling where Jody went I, I did this before and came running. Must be a little further out than I thought. Well, I guess maybe next time you'll meet Jody. Um, have a good weekend, guys. And remember, on rainy days like we have here and where I live, which is really Ohio, um, what better ways to do it besides playing on some farm sim for a while, guys. Have a good one. See you the next time.